finally here. We drove 16 hours from Wyoming and uh, we're out here to the glassing point, the lookout, and it's covered in fog. So hopefully this wind will kick up this evening, kick this stuff out of here. Well, I'm sure they're over on a hillside across there somewhere. We just need the fog to lift out so we can find them. On this hunt, we're lucky enough to have a little bit of help. His cousin Justin and his friend Ben have come along to help on the hunt. So we're hoping they can help us glass up a big old bear, but more importantly, help us pack a big old bear out of one of these big deep canyons. Well, we got a first bear across the way here, but it's just a probably young boar, small bear. He's real lanky. We're no sooner filming it and doing a little interview and Justin starts hooting and hollering down the ridge to get our attention that he spotted a big bear even further down the ridge from where we're standing. saddle so he's down this ridge now we can't turn him up he went in this timber somewhere but he's a great big chocolate boar so we're hoping maybe that black one's a sow and he's headed over towards her so we're gonna just wait it out here and see what happens after 30 long minutes of anticipation the bear finally pops out of the draw problem is same color bear but not the same size. So we're starting to second guess ourselves. Did we misjudge that bear or what's going on here? Cause it looks like the exact same bear, but a miniature version. Now this bear keeps looking down the hill nervously. Every couple minutes it picks its head up and looks down in that draw. And we can only hope there's another bear down in there. And once you know it, sure enough, out pops the big bear. And this looks to be a sow with a big boar hot on her trail. bears are really tough to judge, especially at this distance. Because they don't have horns or antlers, it's tough to tell the males from the females, and you always gotta be really careful. We wanna double check and make sure this isn't a sow with a two-year-old cub. But you can tell after watching the body language on these two bears, it's definitely not a sow and a cub. It's a sow with a big boar, and it's the breeding season, and she isn't quite yet ready to breed, but this boar's not gonna leave her side until she's ready. And she's getting a little annoyed of this big old boy following her around everywhere she goes. But you can definitely tell this is a huge boar in hot pursuit of a sow, just what we were hoping for. The only problem is these bears are just a little too far for a shot. But once they fed down into that draw again, we quickly picked up our gear and moved down the ridge as far as we could to try to close the distance, hoping they'd pop back out in closer range where we can get a shot. Just like it was scripted for a movie, the sow comes out of the draw and works her way up over this ridge. I load my gun and get ready, hoping the boar is gonna be right on her tracks. But it just wasn't meant to be. That big boar, they don't get that big by being stupid and he just does not wanna come out of that draw and out of that deep brush until after dark. And we're forced to pull out, but hey, it's only the first day of hunting and we've seen a monster color faced boar. This is gonna be a great hunt and sleep is gonna be hard to get tonight because we're gonna hit it first thing in the morning. 1.06 a.m. I thought today was supposed to be the end of the world. I don't, that's what I was counting on while we were down there. No, I had to hike up out of there. Yeah, it totally happened. Well, wouldn't you know it, the next day turns up some bad weather. With weather like this, spot and stock bear hunting is pretty much out of the question. This is where it pays off to have a nice, comfortable base camp that will keep you warm, have a good meal, and wait out the storm. Finally, after being smothered by a thick layer of fog for most of the day, 
It starts to burn off toward evening. So we fire up the four-wheelers and jet down the trail hoping to get a nice evening hunt in before it gets dark. Without our four-wheelers, we wouldn't be able to get very far on these roads. We've seen a lot of snow this year out west and some of these roads are just completely inaccessible with a pickup truck. Well, we uh, had a close encounter with a big, huge chocolate boar last night. And that didn't quite work out, but here we are back at it tonight. Nate uh, glassed up a bear right off the bat, and then uh, one other guy spotted one just down the canyon here a little bit. Uh, but the one down the canyon's little, but this one across the way is not bad. He's a boar. We're gonna just kind of watch him here and see what happens and then maybe come up tomorrow when we have more time. There's definitely not enough time tonight to get clear over there to him or, or whatnot. So we're just gonna kind of scout some of these roads and come hit it real hard tomorrow. Spend more time up here. After a couple hours of tough glassing through the clouds, we finally turned up a few bears way off in the distance. In this country, there's very few roads and even fewer trails, so you really have to pick your battles, because this time of year, these big boars, they're on the move looking for sows. And so you have to find a boar that's pretty much staying put and in a position that you can make a stock on and get too quick. On day four, we decided to head into some new country. As soon as we got there, we turned up this sow with these three cubs. These little guys are right out of the den. They're a lot of fun to watch, but we weren't there very long and that wind swirled. She caught our wind and she gathered those cubs up and was gone into the timber in an instant. Later on that afternoon, we turned up this bear. Look at the beautiful color on this guy. This is the perfect bear, just what you're looking for color-wise, but unfortunately his size just isn't quite what we're looking for. We look him over real good and judge him up with the spotting scopes, and we figure he's probably just a three, maybe four-year-old young boar. So we're just gonna let him be and go look for a bigger bear. Well, we're working on a, about a 20 bear day, folks. We've seen, I think, 14 or 15 bears already. But as you can see from this country, just because you see them doesn't mean you can go get them. So we've seen some nice ones. Hopefully we can get up to 20 bears today, plus uh, find a big one we can get a shot at. So we're gonna relocate to the other side of the mountain here. We finally spotted a bear that we can possibly get to. There's a bear in those fingers over there, and he's a looks like a big, big bear, and definitely awesome color. He's almost a grizzly, grizzly bear looking color. He went into that timber, and we think he's going to pop out on that uh, next finger over. So we're going to uh, go around and over to our camp, which is over out on that uh, knob over there, where we can actually even see him closer. Maybe even get a shot from camp up in that slide. In that finger so we're gonna hurry and boogie around there and wait for him to come out so at least we know there's a bear on that hillside and could be a good one so I'm gonna give her a try. It didn't take us long to get around on that road system over closer to where we spotted this bear. Now it's time to hike. We're gonna have to hike in and get in a vantage point where we can look over that hillside and try to relocate him. And after about 15 long minutes of glassing, we finally turned that bear up, working his way along the hillside, just as he went into another strip of timber. Now that we finally have a pinpoint on his exact location, it's time to pack up and move in for the stock, and hopefully get close enough to get a shot as he comes across that next opening on the hillside.
Oh, it's a nice bear. We spotted him from probably three miles away, maneuvered around. He was acting goofy in this draw. He'd come running out of there. I don't know what he was chasing or running from, but then he held up in here for a while, long enough for us to cut the distance in half. Get here all set up for him coming across that hillside. Hopefully, pretty sure it's a boar, a good sized boar. He's probably cruising for a sow. I'm um, just kind of cruising these hillsides, so that uh, ended his cruising routine. He's lights out. Nice bear. We'll uh, go over and check him out before the sun gets down. Well, here we are on the fourth day of a public land do-it-yourself Oregon bear hunt here in eastern Oregon. Spot and stock has been a great time. We've battled all kinds of weather, fog, snow, rain, sleet, everything imaginable. And today, this afternoon, turned blue skies and we saw 16 bears today. This was the 16th bear and we decided to take it. It's got a beautiful hide on it. Shot him from across the, the river here and just a beautiful, beautiful hide on it. Almost looks like a grizzly. Mm -hmm. 